I know. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. I wouldn't have begged you for a songwriter. You know I get that a lot. Probably because most people meet me when I'm terse and angry. You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything. But I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time, I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. I live by a code, but I don't follow it to the letter. I've heard your code. Victory from passion. It's a powerful notion. Very much like how Arkin operates. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal Emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Arkin wants to lay waste to everything I've fought for and accomplished. I won't let him. Neither will I. I may not know much of the worlds you've inhabited, but I do know what he's doing to them. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet. But I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. I hope you'll try to get along. The more we work together, the better off we'll be. Just because he betrayed our enemy doesn't change the fact that he was a traitor. You need to be cautious. Valkorion lives. He is not himself, nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see, and yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. Yes, and many times before and since. Even when my life depended on it, I did not see him properly until it was too late. 